completed picture from the Spielberg studios. Those who saw the first film, An American Tale, may recall that it told of how Fievel and family escaped a Russian mouse pogrom to settle in the Bronx at the turn of the century. In the sequel, New York's mouse population is conned by a feline mastermind, Cat R. Wall, voiced with unctuous villainy by John Cleese, into helping him build a city in the West. Dear me, how could they be so naive? Didn't they even suspect that when the work was done, they were all destined to be served up to Cleese's cronies as mouse burgers? No, they did not. I tried to get here, but I was dogged every step of the way. Oh, Tiger, you're my best friend. Come on, let's go to Green River. Well, fortunately, Fievel comes to the rescue with the aid of a clapped-out canine sheriff, Wiley Burp, voiced by James Stewart with such a lethargic drawl that he seems to be talking in his sleep. Other principal characters include Dom de Louise as Fievel's friend Tiger, a wimpish vegetarian of a cat, and Amy Irving as Tiger's beloved Miss Kitty, the hard-boiled, soft-centred saloon hall singer. A very skimpy story to be sure, but the animation is fine, especially in the contrast between the dark menace of the city and the expansive openness of the West. The songs and score by James Horner and Will Jennings are amiable enough, without being all that memorable, and there's sufficient fun and excitement to keep the small fry happy. As for the adults, well, there's much pleasure to be derived from the sound, if not the sight, of James Stewart gently sending up all those Western lawmen he used to play. Now, let me see you walk. You're, you're wiggling like a French poodle. Now, get down on all fours and get a snoop full of Mother Earth. Uh, ah, yeah. that goes against my grain. Yeah. Now roll, you farmer, roll. Give yourself a dirt bath. Now you're getting it. Come on, Tiger, we're rooting for you. Get out. Uh, suck in your paunch, boy. Okay, now saunter on out there, one leg in front of the other. Slow and easy. I hurt myself. So then, to allocation report. An American Tale, Five All Goes West, is a rare sequel that improves on the original, with all the sentimental gloop that marred Don Bluth's film neatly ironed out and replaced by producer Steven Spielberg with Bugs Bunny-style sight gags and snappy remarks. The immigrant Mouskowitz family, who escaped Tsarist oppression to New York in the first film, are conned by a cat with John Cleese's voice to go west, where he intends to use them as slave labor and then eat them. It appears to be a young pioneer. Now, the feline in me would like to devour this tender young morsel, but the shrewd businessman in me knows that if I do, the other mice will miss him and come looking for him. Oh, the gourmet in me quivers at the thought of mouse tartar. Visually inventive and full of flavour, this is something you'll enjoy almost as much as the kids. Something neither you nor your children will enjoy is London.